In the studio with me is Mr. Henry Adeniba and Mrs. Her uh, Mrs. Adeyemi Adeyeye from the Humanity Family Foundation for Peace and Development. Welcome to the program. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome, sir. Yes. How was the conference? Oh, thank you <laughs> very well. Welcome. So, Mr. Adeniba, can you give us a brief insight into Humanity Family Foundation? Yes, Humanity Family Foundation for Peace and Development was um, was born out of uh, by like minds sometimes in 2003 to be precise in October 2003 by the meeting of um, of just two young folks who felt let us do something concerning what we saw on the television initially it was just um, a program that was actually held in South Africa, a documentary of um, young folks, people of young children of between 10 to 12 years carrying their peers to go to bury. And that actually touched us. It started in just in our living room to 2003. That is about nine, year, I mean, nine years ago. I think we will have to say something about this. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Harry. Uh, but like Harry said, um, humanity was born out of that passion. Yes, we watched the documentary of children carrying their peers, the cops wrapped in clothing with ropes on both sides, and they were going for the burial. It was very touching. And we felt we could do something here in our country. We could give back to our country. We could start by educating our youth our children, you know, in our own little way, be a pebble dropped in the steel pond that we form ripples, and you know, the ripples will keep getting bigger. And then we discover that um, nine years after, it's been a very long and winding road, but I must say that it's been worth it. Wow. So why the International AIDS Conference? <laughs> International AIDS Conference, yes. International AIDS Conference was born after the after humanity's presence at Ikasa. Ikasa was held at Ethiopia, and the humanity registered there, so we got a mail. I think Gary should continue. He likes to talk about. Uh, yes, we were in Ikasa. Ikasa was held in Ethiopia at the Sababa. That was December two thousand and um, eleven, and then um, fortunately. While we were there, there was this advert that um, we should, I mean, that people should register for the conference hub of the major conference of the international aid that is coming up in Washington, D.C. in 2012. And then we registered, just like any other person would have pre registered. And um, as it is, we forgot about it, and all of a sudden, we were just told that, oh, well, our hub was actually picked first of the whole lot and then um, not just uh, stopping at that by the time we were being notified that this conference of because a conference of is a mini conference of what actually happens at the larger realm at the global level and so we say okay it, that is why it's not just a conf it's not just the conference now it is the conference hub that we are having here very few nations were actually given these opportunities to host it and so our organization humanity family foundation for peace and development uh, development was given the hosting right here for nigeria and that was how we actually started and um, the conference hub uh, is just to talk about what actually happened in the US for those people who might want to who wanted to go but could not afford to make it due to financial immigration illness time or whatever so the I mean that could not attend they want, want to want them to have the feel of what actually happened in the US and so that is exactly what we have brought here and we actually had this up in four thematic areas the four thematic areas are prevention treatment impact mitigation which is the obc component of that and then the the um cross-cutting issues such as um tb hiv co-infection thank you vulnerable children. Yes. 
What is uh, was the what was the high point of the conference? You want to take that? <laughs> yes. What I regard as the high point of the conference was one, the number of delegates that we had, and the quality of the facilitator. It was it was the turnout was impressive. The facilitators were were of international standard and. Um, Every participant seems to have gone home with something by virtue of the comments they have passed. For me, that was a high point. I don't know if Henry has a, another opinion. Yes, Kenny. Uh, the, my opinion here for the high point on that conference is the fact that everything was right on time. Everything we scheduled to do was was just hitting the point just the way it is and the quality of facilitation like she rightly put the quality of the facilitators that appeared at that conference i'm sure by the time the um, ies that is the international aid society by the time they see this they will know that okay nigeria has come of age and that they are actually there to up, um, that could they could organize such a very big and then uh, fantastic thing like this it is a it is kudos to well, our country they, they, they. Yeah, we are getting there. Yeah, we are getting there. And uh, don't forget to mention the fact that the one held there in Nigeria was the biggest in the world. Yeah. It was the highest. So it's far. the highest and um, the, way, the most advertised hub. And the most attended. The and the most, the attended. most attended. Yes. That is very good. So now, about uh, stigmatization, what is your take on stigmatization of people living with HIV and how could it be tackled? Because this is really... Mm. Is people still don't want to accept the fact that uh, H you, HIV, you cannot con contract HIV by sleeping on the same bed with somebody or sharing the same toilet. They still, they still that meet by, by this thing. So how can this be tackled? Yes, if I may take that. Stigma, it's not just a one-way thing. It has a two-prong approach. One, that's what we call self-stigmatization and others stigmatizing another person.